Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box, all the nice links. Uh, also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Alright, so today we're going to do some cool stuff. So, we want the character to move to the right, and then we want to play the animation that moves to the right. Now, the name will be Walk Left. I just realized the resources I do have were kind of lazy because... He just flips the sprite, uh, and the shield is still, I mean, shield isn't still in the right arm, or the left, I don't know, it's, it's in, it's, it changes arms, basically. So it's not a, he just flipped the sprite, okay? And so we don't need to actually load another, or add another sprite sheet for that, we can just flip our, our own sprite in-game. Makes it a lot easier, uh, because yeah, that's kind of lazy. I'd like the, sh the sword to still be in the same hand and stuff once you start walking, because it kind of looks weird. But uh, but whatever, you know what? We'll just work with that. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a little thing here. I have a little comment here saying how much, because I played around a little bit with it before I actually made the video to prepare a little bit. Uh, otherwise, we'll just be doing a lot of bullshit and won't be getting anywhere. So, but to do that, to flip the sprite, I'm actually going to do get state um, moving, moving right here, like this, and then, and then, and then, and then, I'm going to do this animation here. We're going to play the same thing, but I'm going to do a few more things up here, okay? So, we're going to flip the sprite. So, this sprite dot set scale. The way you flip a sprite is by saying, by changing this. Now, these are factors. There aren't, like, any special. This is just 0 to 1, minus 1 to 1, right? Or you can do 2, then it will be double the size and so on. So, they're factors. Just remember that. 1 is the same size as it is right now. So, this will set it back when we're walking to the left. We want it to be our, we want it to be the correct side, okay? Now, when we're walking to the right, we want to flip it to the right. So, we're just going to do minus one here. And this is, this we're going to rename this to just walk. So, we don't have to get confused. And this will just be idle. But anyway, we'll flip it here. And I just want to show you how that looks. Um, because, because, we'll just do this. See how that, when you move it to the, to the right, he flips it. But the thing is, it flips around the origin. And its origin was kind of here. And it flipped it, like flipping a page in a book. Boom. And so what you have to do, you have to do it in a two-step process. This is fine. This, the, the point is right here. Zero, zero for the sprite. And when you flip it, it flips around that point. Boom. Now you want to move it back to where it was after the flip. So that's what you want to do. To do that, we're going to have to do... Uh, this is fine, and then once you flip it, you want to say this sprite dot um, set origin. You want to set the origin to um, to the right side of it, kind of. That's what you want to do, or you can move the sprite a certain amount, but that's not what we want to do. We want to do the set origin, so it's going to be 258 dot f i calculated that for some reason it's 258 i'm gonna have to look more into it and we're gonna set the origin to zero for the y and this is relative to where the origin is right now so the origin for this would be at zero zero for the local after the flip okay and then we're gonna move the origin to the top right or a little more uh to the right and then we'll have a proper flip we're going to have to set the origin to 0, 0 after that. Otherwise, it's going to flip out when we move to the left. See? But now moving to the right is correctly within the hitbox where I want it to be. So we're probably going to use the hitbox uh, to, uh, to, to flip the sprite, basically, uh, later on. And this we're just going to set the origin back to 0, 0 here. Uh, da, 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 da. So if I run this... Hopefully, hopefully, if the programming gods are nice, we have a nice little 
animation here. And you see, I, I kind of use the shield as a reference to see how much outside of the hitbox it is. I think that looks fine. I think it's one one pixel off or something like that. Um, so it should be one more pixel, but it doesn't really matter, you know, for now it's fine. And the idle also flips, so it just helps us flip the sprite, basically. So we don't have to use different images for this, uh, for this thing, All right? So that's, that's great, that's great. There we go, so now we have that. Now I want to actually do moving up and down. So else if this movement component, I'll just, I'll just do this. Um, and then we'll clean this up a little bit. Moving top. Oh, moving up, I think it's called. Up. And then we're just going to use this. Because we'll, we'll let the left and the right decide how the sprite is flipped. Okay. Else if... Um, I'm pretty sure you notice we could just use these two as well. For the up and down but if we ever want to customize the going up and the down uh, we'll be able to do that if we have our own if statements for those we're just going to use the walk for the up and the down as well so if we run this it's just like the idle it will so if i'm moving down it depends on which way i was flipped before i started moving up and down see so now we got a full little animation here. And the walking animation is, as you can see, a little jittery. So it's not perfect. And I got to fix that. But uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then we got the idle, of course. Uh, just standing there chilling. So, so good. Now to clean it up, we want to remove the walk left and the idle left stuff. So I'm just going to say idle and walk. Okay, and then I'm going to add one more for attack later. Um, so I'm just going to, I guess this is all we had to do. Pretty much. Pretty much, I think. Because that's what adds the animations with the names. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, still working, still working. Now I'm going to clean the animations up so they look a little better. Also, the movement is a little too floaty, I'd say. And we need to, yeah, we need to fix the animation component as well. So we can kind of uh, w play it with a delta time and with a modifier. So that modifier will kind of, yeah, it will depend on how fast the character is moving for the animation to play. So it doesn't it doesn't go by the same speed at all times. Um da, 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 da. So that's that's cool. That's cool. All right. So we'll probably do that in the next video. I'm pretty sure. Let's just see what else we can we can do because the hitbox component we didn't need to do the flip. We got the check intersect here. Um and that's that's great. That is great. We got the check intersect. What else do we need? We need the we need a status back from the hitbox. Okay. Like which side and where the collision occurred. And then we'll probably do some type of a collision uh, component, which takes a hitbox component, probably, or a float rect, and then we'll do collision with that. And it takes a map as well, or a grid of, uh, of tiles, probably. Um, so we're gonna do that. We'll see how a little bit how we do there or if the tile map itself will Handle a collision or game state will handle a collision. We'll see. We'll see It's a little complicated that because sometimes you got to think really where you want to put stuff It's really important to know because sometimes it doesn't make sense to put some some something someplace But sometimes it makes sense, but it doesn't really work You know, it's not the most optimal place, but it makes more sense and you got to kind of play around with that. See what is more important to you in that moment. Uh, so just think about that, guys. Everything isn't going to be perfect, probably. Uh, but we'll still work with uh, what we have. So in the next video, we're probably going to do animation component and just add that 
a little play with the thing, like I said. And I'm going to think a little bit about how that's going to work. Um, probably do all that. Then we're going to start working on the editor state and the tile map. And probably do some very simple collision stuff and have fun with that. All right, but thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Um, hope you're having a good time watching the series as well. Thank you for all the support also in Discord and everything. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All the nice comments and stuff really makes my eyes water. You know what I mean? So thank you for that. And uh, just keep working hard. Take care. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me on Discord or the other nice, beautiful people there. And they'll probably help you out. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.